Here's another reason why Tyson Fury is the biggest scumbag in boxing, and he needs to go away. Let's talk. Push the weight in your face. Flex the lavish one in the six. Hey, the runner boy, you no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker, never learn your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I mean, they walk and drink blood, fangs out. Full moon, motherfucker, change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on Deck. Shout out to everybody LDBC. Now, it's no secret. That I cannot stand this guy. I cannot stand this guy. The antics are absurd. And it's at an all time high at this point. And if you ignore what this dude is doing at this point, I can't help you. You're every bit as ignorant and lost as he is. I've seen the, the copies of the picture of him flexing in the mirror. He done lost a billion pounds. I don't believe you, dude. Thoughts I'm concerned, just cycling off a ped. But never mind that. He postponed this fight. I mean, what else is new? This is what he does. This is what he does. We're supposed to be uh, wondering who's going to be undisputed at heavyweight. Instead, he magically gets a cut. And I believe it's postponed until... Uh, what? March? Or May or something? I'm not really paying attention because at this point, I don't know if the fight's even happening. I really don't know. But let me run down uh, uh, some of the things that this guy's done. All right. Um, he pulled out of, of, of two Klitschko rematches. All right. He had a backdated suspension for ped use. So, in other words, he popped dirty. Two-year backdated suspension. All right. He lied to you guys about an AJ fight. Uh, for those of you that don't know what, what I'm talking about, let me play this for you. Just to refresh your memory. Just got off the phone from Prince Khalid of Saudi Arabia. Um, he told me this fight's a 100% hot. Uh, August 14th, 2021, summertime. All eyes of the world will be on the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I cannot wait, repeat, cannot wait to smash Anthony Joshua on the biggest stage of all times. This is going to be the biggest sporting event ever to grace the planet Earth. Do not miss it. All eyes on us. Peace out. God bless. See you all in Saudi. Yes. Um, did y'all buy this? The signed trunks and gloves of Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Did y'all buy this? This was for sale. I made sure I went to the website and I said, let me screenshot this because I'm going to need this because I have a feeling this fight is not happening. Did they fight yet? Look at that. Somebody bought these. I'm not going to stop showing this until someone says, hey, man, Drew, I purchased this. This is how much they were selling this for. I know someone had to have bought this. This was off the website. I think it was Fury's website, if I'm not mistaken. This is not fake. I didn't make this up. So, that fight with the, with the AJ situation. Okay, uh, did y'all forget about him trying uh, to get out of the rubber match with, with Deontay? That the courts had to, in, uh, they had to enforce that. Remember that? It was even on box rec. AJ versus Wilder. I had so many people. Oh, good. See? It's Fury versus AJ, Drew. Don't get mod. I said, we still in arbitration. What are you talking about? And then what happened? The news came out. We won our arbitration. Now what? So that guy lied again. Now. Now we have to Alexander Usyk. All right. Instead of going straight to Usyk, by the way, what was fighting... Derek Chisora about. Hmm? What was fighting Derek Chisora about? What was fighting Dillian White about? You could have skipped all of that and went straight to Usyk. What was Francis Ngannou about? And you look like trash. And uh, it, it, that wasn't because Ngannou was this rock star. No. 
It's because you're drug free and your equipment was correct. That was the real Tyson Fury. Then he saw so much he's retired every every other minute. I'm retired. No, I'm not. I'm retired. No, I'm not. So now we think we're finally getting the Usyk fight, and this fool gets a cut. Right? He gets a cut. Now he has to back out of the fight two weeks out from the fight. Okay? By the way, that was a nice Muay Thai elbow you threw and hit Ngannou in the head. He didn't flinch. But that move just goes to show you what kind of person we're dealing with here. The level of integrity, which there isn't any. Now, stop me if I'm lying. Oh, Drew, you're always talking about Tyson Fury. Yeah, well, point out when I've lied about this guy. Everything I've said happened. This is your guy? And let's not forget that he cannot darken the doorstep of the United States of America. He can't come here. For his association, his relationship with Daniel Kennehan, who has a $5 million bounty on his head. Still at large. So he couldn't come here if he wanted to, to give y'all an autograph. How about that? All of these things surrounding Tyson, the Gypsy Queen Fury. Now stop me when I'm lying on him. These are things that happened. Nicholas Asbury. That happened. Eddie Cotton said this was the most cheating ass fight I've ever officiated. And I uh, officiated, I refereed Andrew Galata twice. The late, great Eddie Cotton, the referee said that. It's on YouTube. Google it. Well, Google it and go to YouTube. Put in Eddie Cotton talks on talks about Tyson Fury. It's there. Steve Cunningham. He's been to the strong house. He told us what it was. Nevin Padgett. The poisoning. And all this crap in between. Now we're up to Usyk. So... I know like people people like to call me racist and everything else. Okay, where's the justice for Alexander Usyk? Huh? Where's the justice for him? Let me explain how this fight being postponed. And by the way, I heard uh the prince is issuing like a what a 13 million, a 10 million dollar uh penalty for whoever pulls out of this next date that they set. Um Reading this article, I'll put the link in the description. This is a quote from Alexander Usyk. I sacrifice all the days that we used to spend with my family. New Year, Christmas, my birthday, the birthday of my son, the birthday of my second son, and of course, the birth of my daughter. The man missed the birth of his daughter training to fight this dumbass who just pulled out of the damn fight. Are you kidding me? Usyk said he would now spend two or three days at home to hug his daughter and be with his wife before returning to training. So once again, oh, by the way, he pulled this in America. While the Fury 3 was supposed to take place in July, then all of a sudden he had COVID. Y'all remember that? You remember he had COVID? COVID was sweeping through his camp. Jared Anderson was in the camp. People were asking Jared Anderson, you, you okay? What do you mean? Heard you got COVID. No, I don't. They just sent me home. What? Wait a minute. UFC event. Joseph Parker, who was also in the camp, is spotted at the UFC event. They're like, man, don't you got COVID? He said, what? Yeah. And with COVID sweeping through the camp, he got on a plane and went back to the UK to visit his daughter who was sick in the hospital. Remember that? Postponed it to October and the rest is history. Y'all said nothing. Y'all said nothing. Well, now he's doing this junk to Alexander Usyk and he missed the birth of his daughter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let me read something that he says. He says, there are certain measures taken by highly professional fighters. Normally, you use headgear using uh, the big gloves, like 20-ounce gloves for sparring. 
he goes on to say, you apply Vaseline on the gloves for sparring partners. You apply Vaseline on your mask, on your elbows to avoid cuts, to avoid any kind of injuries, because you are treating this in a different manner than a, than a, a professional. A, as a professional, you are jeopardizing the whole event. And you have disrespectfully, you have disrespected the people who are involved. You behave disrespectfully to the people who are involved. Excuse me. It's late. But I had to get this information out. Fury said earlier in the week that he had never before suffered a cut in sparring before a big fight. The man's a drug addict. The man is on gear. There's a possibility he's cycling off. He's probably on something and cycling off. Because I saw the pictures, if they're real. He's probably on some pad. And he don't want to take drug testing. He wants to cycle off and just stay in shape. Until May or March, whenever they have, whenever the rematch is, uh, I'm sorry, the rematch, whenever the fight is taking place now. So he's no stranger to nonsense is what I'm saying. This man has a track record. I've been saying that. So for all of you race baiters, now there is not a black person involved in this thing. He's doing this to another white man. What you going to do? What you going to say? What you going to say? Usyk missed the birth of his daughter for Pete's sake. What are y'all going to do? What are y'all going to say? What are you going to say? Huh? And here he is again. Again, I just ran down the track record. With every championship fight, when he's fighting someone for real, it's a damn adventure with this foolish mortal. Usyk, stylistic-wise, when this man is drug-free, is probably the most dangerous fight he'll ever have. After Deontay Wilder won, we had the help of everything else going. I'm not going to get into that. But Usyk is a real one, and he can touch this man. I don't think he could beat Usyk clean. And do not be surprised if he just takes a $10 million hit or whatever the price is and say, F it, I'm retired again. And he'll probably try and resurrect in 2025, 2026 again. If he thinks he's going to get tested and he'll pop, he will get rid of that WBC strap and say, look, I can't do it no more. Remember he retired after Wilder, after the Wilder fight? Told his wife, hey, I don't want to do this no more. Then comes back and has a trilogy with Derek Chisorva. Fights Dillian White. What, what was that? What was that? This guy's a clown. I've been saying it. But don't take my word for it. Talk to uh, uh, Alexander Usyk's camp. They went off on him, and justifiably so. They're insulting his mama. I mean, I'm saying, oh no, his wife, and frying pans and everything else. Y'all saw what he, what, 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 what was it? Aegis Clemens. What did he say? Oh, I'll pull it up. Stand by. I'll pull it up right now. Stand by. It's loading. It's what he said. Aegis Clemens. Tyson Fury is an effing coward. Tyson Fury is an effing coward who will do anything not to face Usyk. And he asked his bitch to hit him with a frying pan in his brow. You can quote me word for word on that. Now, no one has done anything about Aegis Clemens. They ain't say he was out of line or nothing. They just let everything ride. If you're going to let everything ride, then as long as it's the truth, then it is what it is. Justice for Alexander Usyk. Y'all tell me what y'all going to do. Or is there nothing to see here? The man missed the birth of his child. There's only one Tyson Fury. Fuck out of here. Move!